uh, Grizzle here, Son of Adventure, all that good stuff. Um, not our usual game setup or lineup, whatever you want to call it. Um, Lawbreakers, FPS, fast paced shooter. Um, gotta be careful what you compare it to. Some people kind of get frustrated in that. Uh, it's a hero type shooter or class based shooter, kind of like Overwatch, but much, much different as far as how they pull it off with more game modes. Uh, faster paced shooting like we already mentioned things like that I just want to give you guys a quick uh, my opinions kind of thing on the game on its current state not really gonna show you gameplay there's already gonna be a boatload of people doing that which just isn't even worth it um, so I'm just gonna go through the menus talk about what I like what I don't like uh, as far as balance I'm not really gonna cover that I feel like this game you know the first few weeks are gonna be kind of madness in a sense it felt really tight knit we're not tight it felt really smooth to me as far as balance goes there's nothing I really any character that really stood out that I was like oh my god like this is retarded or uh, anything like that um, but yeah I mainly play the Spectre just kind of as uh, from my perspective what you guys are gonna hear me when I'm talking about my experiences for most of my four hours of uh, official release I played a little bit of the alphas and betas and so on and so forth uh, but We'll just skip past all that because that doesn't really matter uh, and jump right in. Uh, options, standard stuff, choose your region, uh, field of view slider goes up all the way to 110. I like 100 because I don't want to get motion sick. Uh, most mouses you can change the sensitivity without a game slider, but it's here. Uh, controller, <laughs> I wouldn't recommend controller when you're fighting against PC people, but hey, some people really like it or need it for disability or anything like that, so it's there. Uh, all kinds of adjustments. Uh, to go through there. Uh, I don't even want to go through all that. Uh, you can't have damage display numbers and things like that. Gore, why would you ever turn that off? Um, so on and so forth. Nothing new about audio. All of your typical standard sliders. Uh, profanity, filters, if you don't want to hear that kind of stuff. They didn't really cuss much, to be honest, when I uh, was playing through the game. Maybe every now and then uh, the character would say something. I guess it depends on who you played as. Uh, my, the Spectre was quiet a lot, so I guess I'll leave it up to you guys to tell me if your characters talked more or not, because I'm not really sure. I played the Titan, and they talked a little bit more, but not much. Um, supported by Discord, I don't know, like, <laughs> I guess maybe they're just using similar software to run their in-game chat, but most people use Discord anyways. Uh, I didn't really hear anybody talking over voice chat. Not sure if it's just not uh, common anymore with the rise of Discord and these new uh, better talking apps, um, but it is there, and you can have push to talk, push to talk, excuse me, enabled, all that good stuff. Again, nothing new here. Pretty much the standard smooth uh, options menu. It looks nice, good layout, straightforward, all that. You can key map again. Not going to go through that. Typical video settings. I'm not sure what global quality does. I'm assuming that's just. It sets everything overall. I actually, let me just, yeah, okay, all right. <laughs> I guess I should have looked at that before I started talking, but I, I didn't want to mess with it because I wasn't sure if that was something else. You can cap your frame rate. I'm running with a, a, a three gig 1060 uh, Nvidia card, uh, 12 gigs of RAM, and then an i7 6700 HQ processor. So not bad, but not amazing by today's standards, I guess. Um, but I can still run this game full ultra. Uh, 1080p and get about 75 FPS. It locks up. Uh, you see this ticker up here at 60 in the menu uh, But once you're in game, it just goes completely bonkers on high I was able to get 144 so most systems can play this game pretty well if they've got newer cards or late 900 series cards um, That's Nvidia. I'm a Nvidia fanboy. I can't speak for AMD. Uh, the last one I had was just a complete butthole to me But uh, not to hate everyone's got their own, you know, preference in place but anyways, this isn't talk about <laughs> cards. Uh, V-Sync disabled because I have a G-Sync monitor, but that is there. Um, all your typical anti-aliasing and things of that nature. Don't need to go through that. You can remap literally everything you want. Uh, and then again, this is to remap your uh, Xbox controller. The coolest feature, I gotta say, I'm glad we got to this. I completely forgot about it. You can link your Twitch account, um, and you can dictate if you're broadcasting or not. You can hide that if you want to, if you're worried about, I don't know, stream snipes in a game like this don't really matter all that much I guess unless they were just like watching you where you're at but the game's so fast paced there's no way that they could watch your stream or watch your stream 
and watch their scream at the same time. Unless they're, maybe somebody's a superhuman like that. But me personally, I can never do that. Um, but that's there. From what I've seen, uh, tested streams, it seems to flow with the game really well uh, when you're streaming and playing at the same time. So they're definitely pushing for that like hardcore esports Twitch community, um, which is a really, really smart move, in my opinion. Because um, the way it's set up, it's... I'll get to that later. <laughs> I'll get to my opinions later. Uh, anyways, uh, profile. All that you're doing there is you can view your, your uh, stats, your progression, which I really love the way this menu is set up. It's smooth, great. Uh, count level is all not, not that important. I guess it dictates how long you've played the game, maybe to others. Uh, also, drops the uh, loot boxes in this game with your stash drops, uh, which we'll get into that as well. You can purchase these, purely cosmetic. Obviously, in a game like this, there's no really pay-to-win aspect unless you consider yourself looking like a golden Jesus uh, to be pay to win, which is possible. I actually got a skin for my Spectre like that. Uh, but back to profile. I like that they do this. So average score grade is basically kind of like an old school arcade system. It goes all the way up to S+. Um, it determines basically what you did overall. So it's not about KD, it's not about assists, it's not about time on objective, it's just a combination of everything, as you can kind of see here. Uh, your average score overall will dictate, this is in the B range, um, like you see here, I'm almost to A. I think uh, 5,200 above is A, I'm not sure, no. don't quote me on that. Uh, but anyways, I really think that's an awesome idea. You can kind of get a better ranking system going and a better idea how people just play overall. Because every game mode is not about killing. Um, every role is not about killing, so they kind of wanted to tailor that to everybody, which is awesome. Uh, people can view what achievements you've unlocked here. Uh, that's just in Steam, in game, or yeah, in game Steam achievements. Nothing amazing. I don't believe you unlock anything for doing that. It's just kind of points for your Steam account. Um, yeah. Uh, statistics. It kind of goes full in depth. You're gonna have to calculate your own KD and get stuff like that. Um, but you can pretty much see everything that you've done. Um, a 50 times kill streak. <laughs> I didn't even know that was freaking possible. I wonder what it does. It has to go crazy. I've only ever gotten a triple kill uh, so far. Not sure what kill streak I've been on. I guess a five times, I would imagine, is what that is. Uh, like this, too. Uh, you can't do replays. So you can't, like, rewatch this match, but you can look back, uh, see who was there. Add them for friends if you want. Send them a message, tell them, like, hey, I hate you. Hey, good game. You know, no, don't say you hate them. <laughs> this game's community is not toxic yet, so I hope we can uh, keep it that way. Um, but you can literally view what your score was. I think, yeah, this is like, a, I don't know how I did this good, uh, but this is the best game I've ever done. 28 kills, 28 assists. Um, somehow still only got halfway through S+, plus, so I don't know what it takes to max that out. You know, must be the god of this game to do that. Um, but cool feature if you saw somebody that you want to party up with or add a friend or you just kind of want to remember how you did, uh, track things, all that good stuff. Um, yeah. Portraits. Typical stuff. You unlock these from the loot boxes. Uh, nothing fancy there. I do like that there's animated ones. So I believe green and ups will be animated. Uh, these are just your standard starting ones. Hilarious, by the way. Uh, standard, you know, little still icons. Um, I haven't gotten anything cool yet. This is stupid. This is stupid. This, you can barely tell, does anything. I'm like, oh, look, I'm going to slightly float up. I guess it's better than the law, though. I'll keep that. Um, again, you know. Already went over achievements. So that's that. Stat drops. Unfortunately, I should have saved one to open for this video just to show you. It's really cool how it does it, builds up the suspense. These little crates, uh, or not even crates, like supply drops that come down. Uh, they light light up the color of what the item's going to be, so you kind of have an idea already. Like, oh, I got screwed over. Or, hey, look at that. Uh, I've only gotten green so far. Uh, but then you pop them open. It's just, just like Overwatch, honestly, in that regard. I think you get maybe one more item than in Overwatch, but uh, don't quote me on that. No idea. Customization. So you've got your heroes here, your classes here. Um, I guess while we're in the screen, I'll talk about that as well. So while there is uh, let's see, 18 total characters in the game, technically, there is only nine classes. So there's two for the Law and the Breaker side for each class. Um, so... Don't be deceived if somebody says there's 18 characters, or they say there's 18 classes, because there's only 9 classes, but 18 different characters. All are unique in their own way, all voiced, 
all look different. All look badass, I will say that. I haven't found one yet that I don't like the look of. It's got this, like, metal punk vibe. That's just, I don't know, it's awesome. You've got your Weibo status if you want it. You've got your freaking, uh... There's a guy that looks just like Doom with, I think it was Axel, yeah. If you get certain armor, he looks just like the Doom guy. So you got, you got metal, you've got anime style, you've got all kinds of different just tastes in there, which is awesome. I think that kind of, you know, gives everybody a little bit of what they want. Um, but anyways, let's see. I'll pick uh, Helix. I play as the, uh, oh, I've been saying Spectre this whole time. Oh my god. <laughs> Wraith. Wow. I play as the Wraith. Usually, I've been maining that so far. Um, probably not going to choose a main until weeks later when there's like metas and all kinds of crap getting picked up. Uh, just to kind of show you the uh, skins, you can buy skins or you can get them from loot boxes. Um, points you get from loot boxes or watching the training videos. So far, it doesn't seem like you get them very quick, which kind of sucks, but uh, like also nothing costs that much as far as points go. Uh, this dude looks like a predator alien man, but as you can see uh, each kind of Within like the gold tier or the epic tier whatever. I forget what it's called. Wow. It's right over here boss tier <laughs> The uh, they all typically look the same just kind of different color styles um, Same with the exotic tiers all typically look the same just different colors um, But plenty of customization to go around not everybody's gonna typically look the same um, if they're playing similar characters, well, obviously they're not going to look the same because each team has its own character. But as far as watching videos and seeing friends and things like that, everybody's going to look a little bit different. You can select multiples of the same character, I will say that. Um, just like in Overwatch and just the, the casual quick matches in this game. Uh, so there could be multiple wraiths on the field or assassins or whatever. Um, yeah. Uh, we've got character skins. Weapon skins. Uh, I only have one. I started the game with this. I'm not sure if everybody gets it or not. I'm sure you do, but uh, Kinetic Blade, so it just adds kind of an animated effect, which is awesome. Some of them are just still camos, um, but some of them are animated effects. I think Fire, yeah, Fire Forge is another one. It has like a hot glow to it. Um, and then, yeah, see? So that's, that's pretty awesome, in my opinion. Um, gives a little more spice to your weapons. You can actually see it since they're up close in your face. Uh, and all that good stuff. Little weapon sticker. It's not really that easy to notice. I think it's mainly just for you. Uh, but it's typically in this region right here. Yeah, so see, I, wow, the rotation kind of sucks right now. Uh, you can barely see it right there. Um, but it is there. The kick decals. So first I thought, what does this even matter? So if you kill somebody with a kick, which is F on computer, it puts the boot print on their screen. So it's just kind of a nice way to... Uh, Give them a nice little insult. Some of them have uh, ridiculous phrases on them. None of these really do. Uh, I wonder if I can. I don't remember who I got that had. One of them had a phrase that said "get good" with the G U D. So there's, there's just some of them can be really cool, but they stick on the screen for while they're respawning. If you do kill them, okay. didn't know that. Maybe it's common sense, obvious. I don't know, but it took me forever to figure that out. Um, that's pretty much customization in a nutshell. Um, Again, spend your points wisely. So far, you don't get them quick at all. The tutorials are all video-based. For these, as far as these go, you just watch a little YouTube video, and I think they give you 30 coins each for the rolls, anyways. Sandbox it just throws you in a room with uh, little pop-ups that say, "Hey, try this out or see how this works." Uh, I really would recommend doing this before you start, just to figure out how to control yourself in zero G, the uh, zero gravity rooms. That was a huge pain for me at first. I didn't realize the controls for look at you know you look up to go up, you look down to go down. Yeah, maybe hindsight 2020, or maybe that's just common sense. But again, some people won't know that, and they'll just be floating around in the sky helpless because they won't understand how to control that. Uh, so I would recommend it just for that at least. And let's see. So quick match, all they have right now is quick match and custom game. When you do quick match, it just throws you in a random lobby, cycles through random maps, game modes. You can do custom games and invite friends. Uh, you can choose the map. You can choose the game mode. Set all the wonderful, wonderful settings. Battery shield. So what that is is uh, for pickup objectives. So like blitz ball, um, battery, and I forget the other one. That's basically just capture the flag. Uplink maybe. Um, 
they have a little shield. So if somebody's carrying it and they die and drop it, or if somebody's storing it and trying to charge it for like battery, it has a shield. So you have to stand next to it to deactivate that shield over time, maybe like five to eight seconds. Uh, big pain in the butt, uh, but you can't turn that off if you don't need that. But it does add kind of an extra layer of not being crazy or just being tactical, that kind of stuff. Don't really need to go through. Uh, you can set single roll. If you hate having you know 500 assassins just tearing you up with swords or whatever. I'm sure there's going to be a ranked match type that comes around, kind of like every other competitive shooter that's going to lock this in, as well as uh, all that other good stuff. Uh, but again, just kind of standard options there. Nothing. Uh, you can, again, you can disable classes if you want. Nothing too fancy, but at least they have custom stuff out of the match. I do like that. Yeah. So, as far as my opinion on the game right now, again, like I've said, I've only played about four hours of the actual game, not counting beta, alphas, all that stuff. Uh, I really like it. So I will tell you, if you are really into, I will say old school lightly, so think Quake, um, Doom in a sense. Yeah, it's kind of like the new Doom as well, uh, but think of it as Doom multiplayer done right if you didn't like Doom multiplayer so much. So you've got really fast paced, just balls to the walls all the time. <laughs> Forgive my language. Uh, you don't want to stop moving. You want to be going, moving, kind of just think Doom in that regard, and Quake as well. Now, since there are class classes, and they all have a weapon they start up, there's no pickup weapons. The only pickups are health. That kind of removes the old school arena shooter style, in a sense, but it still feels like it, which I love because I've been missing that. So maybe it's just nostalgia. I don't know, if you're not into old school shooters in that sense of just fast paced, um, it's, it might not be for you. Think of it as, again, I use this very lightly, a faster paced Overwatch as well, with a lot more verticality. Now Overwatch is more class and role focused than this game is. I, I didn't feel per se that any particular class had something that stood out or that would be a counter to another class right off the bat. Everybody's got options. It's just kind of a way to add diversity to the game. And again, we'll have to come back later and talk about this again, because once metas sink in, once maybe there is a ranked mode that locks roles, things like that, it'll become more Overwatchy. But as it stands right now, don't think of this as just some Overwatch clone with you know, jetpacks and uh, more gore. It's not that. It's just deeper than that. It makes it tips its hat to the more old school arena shooters than Overwatch did. So hopefully that wasn't a confusing mess of an explanation. I, that to me is the best way to sum it up. Just think of it as I think I saw somebody describing it as Overwatch combined with Call of Duty, which <laughs> Call of Duty has a bad rap to it, but that, that is a good way to describe it. It's like old school Black Ops and Overwatch smashed together. And then maybe do some Doom inbred is thrown in there, and a tiny bit of little little salt and pepper of Quake. Uh, so that's 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 a strong suit. It does a lot of things, but it does it well. So it takes a lot of different inspirations, and then just smashes it in your face and makes you like you're like okay, you hit me with a, like epicness. That's probably the corniest way I could describe it. So if you want something that feels new, feels fresh, but also has a lot. That you know, a lot of resemblance to many different genres that you might have liked, and maybe I'm just an old part. I don't know for again nostalgia berries or whatever, but it, this is a game for you then. If you're missing that fast-paced Call of Duty feel, but not with all the new obnoxiousness and more of a class-driven game like Overwatch with more verticality, faster gunplay, maybe more Doom-like, this is definitely a game for you. Uh, I'm going to be putting up gameplay videos here on after. I'm going to start streaming this game as well over on Twitch. Grizzle the Man, as you can see on the screen, is uh, that. But, yeah, anyways, I mean, that's, that's I guess, the best I can say right now. Again, I haven't played the game hours and hours and hours. I haven't seen metas develop. It's going to be a lot to change. And as you can hear right now, the music, I love the music. <laughs> it's like a metal... And then there's dubstep, and then again, that's what I'm saying. This game tips its hat to just multiple genres in a sense. It's trying to attract a lot of different people into one, and it's just, I love it. <laughs> I love it, and I, I'll, I'll try not to be biased. Again, I will tell you, if you don't, if you're not looking for the things that I've kind of made weird references to in a weird way, 
this game's not for you. Uh, if you liked Overwatch a bunch, and you purely liked Overwatch's mechanics, this game's not going to be for you in a sense. I, I would definitely give it a shot, personally, but um, if you're into kind of more tight-knit crowd games, or not tight-knit crowd, but just games that stick to those values and not multiple values at once, then this game won't be for you. And again, if you just don't like fast-paced, not for you. Uh, but sorry, yeah, I kind of threw a lot of random stuff around there, but I just had a lot I wanted to say. Really loving this game right now, really spending a lot of time with it. <laughs> Maybe too much time, didn't have time to even write a proper script. But hey, just wanted to put the word out. Uh, if you guys ever want to play with me, you can see my name here once again, or just Steam name is Grizzle, none of the other jargon. Uh, look forward to hearing your comments, your opinions. Let me know anything you loved, hate, anything I said that was stupid. And I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching.